Welcome to Archer Spect, everybody. My name is Arthur, and today we're going to do a review on Battlebox, the July edition. So, let's check it out. So, of course, we get our card here. Gives you a little description of uh, the box, as well as content list. So, this is Mission 17, Firebox, July 2016. Of course, it gives you all the items on in, in the box as well as the retail pricing. So, for my subscription, I have the advanced box. So, it includes everything in the basic as well as the advanced. So, check it out what we have. So, first thing here, we got our Dragonfire tinder box. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, gives you a little instructions in here. But I've got this uh, bag from another bag from a different uh, subscription box. Well, this pretty much gives you like a lot of uh, tender material in here, all natural material, such as like kind of wood and any other kind of flammable things you find in nature. All fit in this box, so you can use this several times. So you'll seal right here, take out as much tinder as you need, and pretty much use the you know whatever you will prefer, match slide or flint, fair rod, as well to start your fire. So. You get a pretty large bag in this, so you can definitely start quite a bit of fires with this. So that's pretty cool. Just drag and fire it in the box. So, next thing here, we got some zombie tinder. So this is Jelly Gin Cotton Tin. So pretty much, you know, you just get your cotton here, which is jellied. So, a little bit more flammable. You definitely, you know, pull out as much as you would need and start this up, you know, with a little spark or anything like that. You get your fire going. So, this is made with natural gin cotton with petroleum jelly. Water resistant, can be lit with a spark. So, definitely not too bad. Plus, you get, you know, a two ounce tin in here as well. Yeah, it uh, contains the equivalent of over 10 triple size cotton balls. So, you can definitely start quite a bit of fires with just this little small little tin with you know, the gin cotton. So next thing we got live fire. Let's see there, it's emergency fire starter, original. See some of the information here. Okay, you just take this apart so you can see. Pretty much you can slip, slides through, kind of it's attached to it, but kind of like a waxed cotton thing here. So you can start that up, get a fire, and you can use this lid to control how large of a fire you want. Kind of halfway, full, side it all the way to take the fire out. So of course you got the instructions on it, you can really see it from the glare, but but if you do use this room, make sure once you just get the fire going and you set it out, tin is pretty hot, so always make sure to let it cool down before you put it away. Got this live fire here. So definitely a cool little emergency fire kit. So of course this box is all about fire. And with fire, it's also pretty dangerous, so of course includes a blaze defense. So it's a fire suppression device. So pretty small, pretty convenient, you know, mini pack here. You know, it says this is not for electrical fire, but yeah, it's good for anything else. For emergencies, always practice you know, safety with when you're making fire. The heaviness around also makes it a little easier. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So next thing we got guitar picks with the uh, BattleBox logo on here. So these are actually flammable, which is why it's in this box. So it's flammable celluloid. So there's two of them in here. So. I thought it was pretty cool, pretty interesting. You play the guitar, you can definitely you know use this and 
doubles as a low survival fire starter. So the next thing we have the pocket bellows, weatherproof. So bellows base, wet and dry weather fire starter. So it comes a little bit of everything in this little kit here. So you get, let's see there. It's a little beeswax, little cotton mixed in there. So you got several of them. Don't seem to really want to open right now. There you go. See how many we have. So about eight of them in there, kind of packed in. And you got a few more of the tools in here. So you get this thing here. So this is pretty cool. You can expand it. So it works in a fire, so you can just like blow into here. It goes out into the fire without having your face right next to the fire, so it makes it a little easier to keep the fire going and keep it hot. You can see in this uh, picture here. So very compact, very easy, and yeah, definitely not too bad. And of course you got a little your fire starter here, our fire rod and striker. It's all in this little convenient little pack here. That's pretty cool. And next thing, we got another thing from Zombie Tinder. So it comes in like a little Altoid uh, tin box here. So Pioneer Char Tin. A little instruction here. So this is pretty cool. This is uh, you have flint and steel. So going pretty old school with your fire making process. So I haven't actually tried this before, so I'm definitely pretty interested. Uh, could be interesting to try this out. So I'll get a few flints in here because you got your steel as well as some twine. And get some char wool here, or char cloth to start your fire. So, all everything fit into this little tin box here. So it makes it very convenient. That's pretty cool. So you got another fire starting kit. So you can see there. So you got six feet of jute twine, natural flint, old cotton gin or gin cotton char it was hand forged striker so yeah definitely not too bad you got a nice little rubber band here just keep everything in tight and I think that's it I think the rest of it kind of just advertisement you got a little sticker here and some advertisement cards. So that is it for the advanced box of for July edition, a battle box. So again, this is the fire themed course for fire box. So definitely not too bad. So just did a little uh, quick search on Amazon on these products again, just kind of see how much they're going for versus what they're pricing or what they're putting down for the retail value and battle uh, and at BattleBox. So BattleBox for this uh, first item here, the Live Fire, they have this quoted at thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and you can find this a little cheaper on Amazon. This is at $8.95. And then we got our zombie tinder, the jelly gin tin. Battlebox quoted this at $6.95. And 
And you can find that on Amazon. That one's a little bit more expensive. That's at $11.49. Then we got our Dragonfire Tinder. So Battlebox quoted that at $12. And you can find that on Amazon, same price, $12. Then we got our Pocket Bellow Weather Bellows Weatherproof Fire Starting Kit. So Battlebox quoted that at $12 or $24.99. You can find out at Amazon, a lot more cheaper. That one's at $15.99. And of course the guitar picks. Battlebox just threw this in for free. And that's what they have on there for free. And then getting, so those were all the items for the basic box. Going into advance, we got the Zombie Tinder, the Pioneer Char Tin. They quoted that at $24.95. You can find it on Amazon, same price, $24.95. And then we got the Blaze Defense, the Fire Suppressant. So Battlebox quoted that at $18.95. I couldn't find it on Amazon. Didn't sell that on there, but kind of just went on their website, kind of checked it out. And yeah, that is the basic um, retail pricing. So $18.95. So that's what I just put on there. So total value that Battlebox has is quoted at for the advanced box is at $101.83. So you definitely get a pretty good value. Um, from what they're quoting So Amazon if you're to purchase all these items yourselves, I add all those prices together That will cost you ninety two dollars and thirty three cents So it is a bit below from what they quoted uh, At battle box, but you're definitely still getting really good value Especially seeing how this box only costs forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents with shipping was an extra five dollars, so a total of forty-five or fifty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So, basic uh, from the box versus the purchase on Amazon. So you're definitely saving yourself thirty-seven dollars and thirty-four cents if you're to purchase the box versus buying all these items yourselves on Amazon. So definitely, you know, a good amount of savings in that thirty-seven dollars and. 34 cents So Yeah, definitely not too bad. You get a lot of cool items in here a lot of items that I'm going to be using at least um, You know these fire kind of starters Fire suppressor of course, you know have it around just in case So definitely a fun box. I really liked it and definitely looking forward to our next box. So Again, if you like this but or like this video hit that like button comment tell me what you think about it and if you're interested in any of these items in here, I did post a link on the bottom uh, if you want to take a look at Amazon. And yeah, and hopefully you like this video and check out some of my other ones. And hopefully you guys, hope to see you guys next time. So thanks for watching and bye.